also can be found in 1 Nephi, chapter 11, verse 31. And he spake unto me again, saying, Look, and I looked, and I beheld the Lamb of God going forth among the children of men. And I beheld multitudes of people who were sick and who were afflicted with all manner of diseases, and with devils, and with unclean spirits. And the angel spake and showed all these things unto me, and they were healed by the power of the Lamb of God, and the devils and the unclean spirits were cast out. Okay, so in case you weren't aware, the Lamb of God is Jesus Christ. And well, during his mortal ministry, he healed a lot of people. It, it's amazing how many healed, and you can find all this. You can find the many he healed in the Bible and wherever else. I mean, even today, the Lord still heals. He's bestowed his the power, or he's bestowed his priesthood, the Melchizedek priesthood, on the earth today. And that is the authority and the right and the power to act in God and Jesus Christ's name to heal they who are sick. But here's a good question. Who are sick? Well, we're all sick in a way. And we're all afflicted in a way. I mean, there's disease everywhere, whether it's brought on by our own making or just as a test of our faith. Well, we're all sick. And there's devils everywhere trying to get at us. I mean, some people have already fallen prey to the devil, but... Others haven't, and there's unclean spirits who are burdened by their imperfections, who allow their imperfections to burden them, instead of help them to cleave unto God in Christ. And everyone is in need of healing in one way or another. I mean, it's not sad. It's like an opportunity for the Lord to do some good. View it that way. I mean, why else did the Lord do the atonement? I mean, God and Christ saw all this suffering. And he was like, and Christ was like, I want to help. So, he did. He underwent the atonement of Jesus Christ, and even today, if we desire to be healed, we can be. We can be healed by that power of the Lamb of God. And if we don't want the devils and the bad sp and the unclean spirits with us, boom. Like, people can grow beyond their current self if they turn to the atonement of Jesus Christ. They don't have to be... They don't have to be forever in their sins if they don't want to be. And that's pretty darn cool that the atonement can be healed that much. Because, I mean, we're all sick, we're all suffering, we're all saying, please, help me, help me, help me. But guess what? There's a way to be helped. We just... There's a scripture in James 1.5 that comes to mind. If ye lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to men all liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. And that is what you must do. If you lack wisdom, ask of God. That he may give you the desire to be healed through the atonement of Jesus Christ. And to be healed of your sicknesses. To be healed of the evil which pursues to possess your spirit. So just, it's your choice. You have your freedom of agency, but... Being healed by the atonement will help you to feel so much 
better and you'll be able to grow the undercurrent self and become a better person. And by the way, of the atonement of Jesus Christ, this is healing possible. And with that said, I love you all so very much. I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.